Hello and welcome to another video here at Stanley Gibbons. And we are mostly famous for publishing our catalogues. We have been publishing catalogues and price lists since 1865. That's well over 150 years of stamp knowledge that has gone into producing these things. And of course you can see this is a part one from 1899 and this is the current one over 120 odd years later. And you can see the amount of difference. But one question we do get a lot is how can you use a Stanley Gibbons catalogue? How can someone who is very new to the hobby begin to understand how we use it? And also, it can be quite complicated. So hopefully in this video, we can explain to you very simply how to use the Stanley Gibbons catalogue and help you on your journey as a collector. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to just look at one catalogue. This is the Collect British Stamps. And it's a simplified version of the concise catalogue. And it's a really good catalogue for beginners, particularly if you're collecting Great Britain. And when you open it, you are confronted with a lot of text and adverts, of course. But the text is very important because reading this and looking at the corresponding illustrations does help to give you an immense grounding when you begin looking through them and looking through your own stamps and also gives you some a glossary of the basics and how to start collecting, the equipment you'll need and etc etc and again particularly pertaining for GB it's looking at all the various aspects of it different perf types you know if you're collecting cylinder numbers coil stamps charity stamps and booklet panes and the graphite lines on the wildings and of course if you're collecting seahorses all the various different printings for those as well but of course after you get past this sort of bit about our history you come to this page this page is really a sort of you know a breakdown of how to work it it's a sort of a, a glossary of that image and when you get beyond all the a b's and c's and d's and of course all the the guys to the entries the basic premise is you have the illustration of the stamp here and when you're looking at the stamp you have to see what the, the value is what color it is so for this one we've got 68p on a caterpillar stamp which is all the way down here multicolored because there's more than one color and of course it's under this issue dated that day in that year and that's the corresponding SG number. And one that people get very confused with is the bold number. The bold number is the illustration number, which you can see. The standard Gimbal's catalog value, catalog number, sorry, is 2595 for that issue. And the illustration number is 1862. So now let's put this into practice. Over here, we've got a, an 1840 Tupney Blue, one of the most beautiful line engraved stamps. How can we find this stamp on this page? So this is a fairly easy one, but again, so here we have the penny black, and here it is, the Tupney blue, not to be confused with this one, which has got the, the white lines under postage and above two pence. So immediately, it can only be this one out of the, the four that are assembled here. And looking at the illustration numbers, which are in bold, remember, so you've got one, one A, and one B for the penny red. So one A is for the Tupney blue. So we go down, it can only be 1840, because that's the only year they were issued before they changed the design. So we've got illustration number 1A next to Tupney, 2D, the value, blue, the color, the price for mint, the price for used. In this case, we have a used example and the corresponding SG number over here, SG5. That is it. And there you have it. How to read a Stanley Gibbons catalog. I hope these few simple pointers are going to assist you in your journey in collecting stamps and the wonderful hobby that it is. And thank you again for watching and please like and subscribe for more Stanley Gibbons content.